the founder of this project, who is also the founder of the International Youth Fellowship, urged Basotho to take care of this center, as it is sure to transform the youth of this country for the better in groups and individually. For the young people here, we want to teach them how to think deeply and teach them how to have self-control and teach them how to have exchange. And I learned this from the Bible. And we will change them into the best students of the world. When welcoming this development from the IYF, the Principal Secretary of the Ministry of Gender and Youth, Dr. Mamwe Gezin Tong, together with the Minister of Gender, Honorable Dikiri Dampani, outlined that the presence of this center is sure to combat the crime rate that this place is known for, especially among youth, now that they will be busy. Furthermore, Honorable Dampani took blame on the hazards yielded by the past cabinet which will not fulfill the construction of Masori Region 5 grounds at the same area. This comes after the residents complained for non-fulfillment of the promises by the government, noting that they have now lost hope. The Right Honorable the Prime Minister, Dr. Mwekezi Majoro, passed Lesotho's gratitude for this upcoming development by the Koreans, whom he said have shown so much commitment in the Kingdom of Lesotho. You come from afar, Yet you still thought that I must trek ac across the country, across the oceans, across the seas, to come to tiny Lesotho in the south southeastern part of Africa. And that means a lot to us. The Ministry of Gender and Youth noted that facilities of this nature are available in every district in this country, explaining that this addition will serve youth residing in urban areas of Maseru as this district has another youth center in Smongkong. Ntabale Muzuhi, reporting for LTV News, Matokwane, Nipereng, Maseru.